Hey everyone and welcome back to another top Android apps video. With the current situation, now is a great time to check out some new apps, like the ones featured in this video. As usual, all of the links are in the description for you to check out. If you are looking for even more interesting apps, I'd recommend my recent video about Play Store alternatives. Also, thanks again for the recent support on the channel. Last video I was thanking you for 10 subscribers and now we just passed 25. But without any further ado, let's get started. First up, we have Notally. Notally is a simple notes app, but it isn't bogged down with tons of features that you never use. You can create lists and notes, and that's just about it. Fortunately, there is a nice dark mode, no ads, and a few customization settings as well. I would highly recommend Notally for quickly jotting down notes or lists without the bulk of other note-taking apps. Now, a lot of people watching are probably stuck at home in some way, which means this is a great time to take up a new hobby, like podcasting. Anchor makes creating podcasts easy, with access to Spotify songs, tons of free audio clips, and an easy way to put it all together. You can combine your own audio clips with background music, transitions, and even a censored <laughs> This app is super easy to use and is free as well, so if you ever considered making a podcast, check out Anchor. Now let's look at two cool weather apps. First up, Geometric Weather. Geometric Weather is a free and ad-free weather app with a clean geometric design and tons of great features. It has an easily accessible two-week forecast, as well as an hourly and sun-moon forecast, along with tons of other cool graphs and statistics. The best feature of this app, at least from my perspective though, is the live wallpapers. You can set the awesome geometric weather simulation as your wallpaper, making checking the weather on your phone even easier. I'd highly recommend this app for a clean and modern way to see what it's like outside. On the other hand, maybe you want something less abstract than geometric weather. In that case, I'd recommend Yo Window. Yo Window provides outdoor graphic scenes to visually represent the weather in your area. It also has a live wallpaper option, which is super awesome. Unfortunately, there are banner ads in this app, but you can block them with this tutorial I made to block ads on your Android device. On the subject of wallpapers, Cartogram is a free app that allows you to create wallpapers using maps. There are lots of map styles to choose from for a nice custom look, and once you choose a location and style you like, it is as easy as that to set your wallpaper. Cartogram is a really novel and interesting way to create wallpapers, so check it out. Another novel app is Spritester Pixelator Pro, which easily allows you to pixelate any image with tons of customization options. Simply choose an image and pixelate to your heart's content. For example, here's my dog before pixelization, and here she is after. Pretty cool, right? So after you've done your photography, you might want some music, and Retro Music is the perfect app for that. Now Retro is a bit different from traditional music streaming apps like Spotify. It only uses media files found on your device. So how do you get music files like that, you may ask? Well, simply use one of the perfectly legal music downloader apps on the Play Store. These make the process super easy. Anyways, Retro Music is a beautifully designed app with an easy to use UI and tons of helpful features. Your tracks are organized into albums, artists, and playlists, and there's a nice dark mode, and there's of course no ads. If you're looking for a functional and beautiful music app, look no further than Retro Music. Another fun thing to do during quarantine is watch and interact with some VR. Now I get it, most of you don't have headsets, but you can get them for under $30 on sites like Amazon. Then you can use apps like Within. Within is an awesome VR app with tons of cool and impressive experiences. Trust me, with this app you won't be disappointed. In fact, you'll probably have your expectations far exceeded. I certainly did. Another more practical app is Measure, made by Google. This app is very simple. It measures distances. It's reasonably accurate and quick and easy to use. For measuring everyday items, Measure is definitely a convenient app to have on hand. Alright, this video is almost over, but there are still two more apps to check out. Firstly, here's one you've probably heard of, Stadia. Initially, it was criticized, but now in the most recent update, they added a free tier to the app. This means you can play games on your phone for free right now. Of course, you still need to buy the games, but at least Stadia itself is now free to use. I would suggest revisiting this app now. You might find something you enjoy. Our final app today is Icon Pack Studio. If you're like me, you love home screen customizations, and icon packs are a great way to improve the look of your device. Now you can create custom, personalized icons. 
Icon Pack Studio lets you change the shape, color, and even the shadow of your icons, and it's all super easy. Highly recommend it. Alright, I hope you enjoyed these awesome apps for a not so awesome time. Which was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!